Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and variations thereupon. It's Citizen 7, and we're playing Prison Architect, but today things are a little bit different. I was handed the link to a mod by a, the mod's creators and asked if I would check it out. So I am going to check it out, and not only am I going to check it out, I'm going to check it out and film it so you guys can watch it. This is a first impression of this mod and I'll read you the mod's name in just one moment. I'll show you now uh, how it is that you would activate a mod in Prison Architect. It took me a little while to figure this out because I hadn't done it before. But it's fairly straightforward. First you go in the Steam Workshop, you subscribe to your mod and it will um, it will go ahead and download. If you just want to check and make sure that it has download, you can hit open save folder here. It will open up the folder and there will be um, on your desktop and there will be a folder inside that that says mods. If that mod is inside that folder, you know it's that it has successfully downloaded from Steam. So to activate the mod, you go to extras and you go to mods and here it is, the Skynet prison mod. This is beta 0 0.1, which is funny to have a, a beta mod on an alpha program, you know, who knows how long this will remain stable, but I, I believe that it is a graphics and sound mod. It says content as well. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually looked at it yet, but I believe that it just changes appearances of things for the most part. So functionality that works within the game should still work. But let's go ahead and press apply. Well, or do we have to check it here first? I don't know if it's applying. It doesn't appear to have applied. Um, let's try again. Like an idiot. Let's check the box and then press apply. Dun dun dun! Check it out! Uh, <laughs> our, uh, our trucks are now this giant robot things and our workmen are now evil little robot men and we can zoom way in on them. Look at, look at these dudes. They are going to get a lot of work done for us. <laughs> so, um, already uh, I like it. Um, now, what I uh, could do is I, I could start I could start a whole new prison here, or I could load the prison that we're currently playing, and let's see how that how that goes. Loading up a prison, not a new prison. We're going to load up a, a, our existing prison. And the mod is not currently applied. Let's uh, try to apply the mod to this prison. And I did make a backup of my saves before this began. Anytime you're going to mess with mods, do please make a backup of your saves before you begin. We'll just hit apply again here and see if it applies to this prison or if we have to start over from scratch, which is fine. If we do, we do. Okay. Um, so uh, it looks like uh, maybe I just didn't notice before. Things are things are like this. Uh, we have uh, silver robots for guards. We have um, big old trucks for trucks. Maybe I just didn't notice it at first with the trucks. Um, let's uh, the uh, this uh, this guy here, the janitor is. This, this, what the hell is happening? Ah, oh, he became a robot. And uh, a shit went down. This, this guy this is the problem. And you got these these guys. We knew we knew this guy's still gonna kill him. They're still gonna kill him, even though he's unconscious. Look, we walk on your face, you bum. Here's our armed guard. It uh, looks like a um. It's the, uh, the girl from Terminator uh, 3. Here's our, uh, our robot chef. And of course, uh, Gardner's... Um, has it changed any of our... The chief's the same, the warden's the same currently. It's the T-800. Guard. 
that guy, snitch skilled fighter, he's gonna he's gonna get killed or kill someone or something. Uh, this is the just says armed guard at this point, and the um, workman. Does it just say workman? It does say workman, but these do say T800s, which is cool. Uh, dog handlers uh, look pretty fierce. The dogs have these really terrifying red eyes. The dog is hurt. You should, dude, you should take your dog you should take your dog back to your kennel and, uh, and please, I don't want that dog to get too dead. Take your dog go and um, do that. So this is, uh, this is where we left off of course with our prison. Uh, these doctors also have the robot head. Um, you. How about you? Why is this door even open? I don't know. It looks like all these doors are open. Um, this, uh, this cell has two doors. Which could be something that I, you know, I messed up. It does look like, uh, okay, the staff doors do close. Okay. And these doors also, these doors do also open and close. So it's not just a, a problem of the mod that the, the doors don't open and close. These guys do need guards or robots to put them into cells. That would be great. Uh, somehow, all of our guards who are supposed to be in the canteen have left the canteen and gone somewhere else. It's amazing that the T-800s can go through the metal detectors without setting them off, but it is what it is. Um, let's take a look at the materials. Uh, I don't know... I mean the beds the beds have been reskinned. They look they look very grungy instead of the green ones that we had before. And uh the um the medical bays have all been given this Skynet logo. Um these look the same though. The kitchen the kitchen looks much the same. I mean at this point it it's a uh, You know, it, it's it's um it's an appearance mod. It's a visual mod, and I don't know necessarily. You should take your dog to the, the kennel. How many uh these are all open? Um, there's an infinite number of hearses all waiting, waiting to get in. Anyway, so um that is the the Skynet mod. It does at this point. It's a little bit basic, but it does it does go ahead and turn your guys into robots. I don't know if there's if there's supposed to be music going with it or or whatever. If there are big sound changes, also, um, I don't have the music turned on just because my recording system doesn't pick it up. If there if there, wait a minute, is there music? Nah. There isn't an option for music, so um, I'm thinking of uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore, where I have the the music turned off. Um, if there are sound, if there are sound changes to the mod, I uh, haven't seen them yet. So, you know, right now it, it's just beginning. Uh, it does say beta 0.1, but I mean, I like these. I like these guys. I like the way that the the robot looks. I like the fact that the armed guard is uh looks like the um whatever it is it's called the tx or or whatever from terminator 3 with a giant gun uh <laughs> these these cooks just look hilarious and the uh, having the um the normal guards become t800s is a pretty nice touch i mean it seems 
like a good idea it's like oh well you know the robots have locked up all, uh, and the the guy the prisoners are all still dudes so you know the prisoners the robots have locked these prisoners up it does allow you to have a little bit more sympathy for the prisoners unless you know you like to you like to think of yourself as a um punishment 10 ha ha ha, ha. I'm, I'm not sure if that's good or not but he should he should get real punished because he attacked a guy. Um, you know, if you're if you're a fan of, of Terminator, this could definitely turn into something very fun. Uh, it seems it seems that the time is right currently with uh, the new you know uh, new Terminator news all in the entertainment world. So if you are a fan of Terminator and Skynet, go ahead and uh, check it out. It's on the workshop. The mod is called Skynet Prison Mod. It's currently beta 0 0.1, uh, made by the PEW clan. And uh, it does say graphics and sounds and content. So far, I, I've only seen graphics, so it seems like they have a... Um, they have a, a lot of things in mind. It will be uh, nice to see a list of what all they're hoping to accomplish. But I, I've shown now it does um, it does work with a brand new prison and it does work with an existing prison as well. So here's our, our robots going around. I, remember, I mean, did this fence always... I, it's like I don't really spend a lot of time zoomed in like this looking at all the details, so I don't know what everything looks like by standard. I mean, the TVs are definitely the same, the phone booths are the same, the laundry machines are the same. Why are there no laundry baskets in here? Maybe because they're taking the laundry baskets out and using them? I, I don't even know. Um, look, there's a laundry basket. He's using it. Um, but yes, that's the mod. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and go back to my normal look for the game now. Uh, go back to recording the episodes. But I figured since they did give me a um, they did give me a shout out of the existence of the mod, I would return. I uh, you know I would do them a favor and uh, give it a little video. So now you've seen it, and uh, if you like it. If you're if you're into that sort of thing, and I and I do love sci-fi, I might end up actually using this for some of my plays. But I'll wait until uh, I'll I'll wait to use it until a little bit more work has been done on the mod. I think that's my that's my judgment. But you know, it certainly does no damage to the game. So if you like the way that that looks, go ahead and grab it. It's on the Steam Workshop. Just search for Skynet mod. Hit subscribe it'll be available to you. And of course, it's a mod, it's free. So, cheers, thanks for watching.